Hi, this is Shivara Jaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about breakups for men and how to get your life back after a breakup. The topic for this video is what if your ex completely cuts you off? This might happen in different ways. She might block you on social networks, on Facebook, on WhatsApp, block your number, doesn't give you permission to come and visit her, ignores you when you are in social situations together, simply doesn't communicate or doesn't talk to you anymore. And so if you are in this position of having been like completely in love with this woman and then suddenly there is this complete exclusion out of her life, it might feel really, really, really painful. And if you're in that position, I get it. You know, you are there, you go like, what the fuck? You know, how did I get to this place where this woman hates me enough to completely, completely cut me out of her life. And the truth is that this is part of the challenge that we can face in the breakup zone. It's like having this person that we maybe adored or that with who you spend so much time, so much love making and so many beautiful moments that suddenly turns around and becomes your enemy and pushes you away from her life. And so, when you are in that position, where you, when you are in that zone, there are two things, two core strategies that you can uh, apply. The first one is still trying to reach her, trying to resonate her, trying to come to her and trying to recreate uh, a bond or some form of friendliness between each other. Hey, why are you blocking me? You know, if you still have access in one way or another to her. When she's blocking you, most of the times this is really a defense mechanism that is pushing you away. So trying to reach out most of the times is going to go against her flow. But if she gives you the possibility, you know, maybe to, to contact her, you still have her number or something like that, you can text her. But don't be aggressive. You know, be like, hey, I see you've been blocking me. It hurts. I don't like it. I would rather us be friends. And if she says, go fuck yourself or something like that, you know, just step out and let it happen. Don't force it. That's strategy number one, you know, trying to educate her, try, trying to recover her, trying to harmonize your connection. Strategy number two is just to be cool with it. And by be cool with it, I don't just mean live with it, victimize with it. I mean really thrive with, with it. The way it works is when there is tension between two human beings, it does generate energy. If you match that energy, if you match her block with the same intensity, then you get fire, you get energetic fire. This is why people fire, this is why they interact in explosive ways very often. It is because fights or fire or tension generates energy in our field. Imagine that you are walking through the forest and then suddenly there is a fire that threatens your life. There is going to it's going to create a whole adrenaline rush. You are going to feel awake, alive, trapped in survival mode, in crisis mode. And this is going to generate a new survival instinct inside of you that you didn't have before. And so when there is tension between two human beings, you know, we tend to look at it like something that should not be there. But sometimes the tension can be a really positive and constructive thing. It's an energetic competition between two human beings. And so if you just accept that and then use that to expand your power, to grow, to match that energy, then you will realize, wow, it's actually something quite exciting. It's a challenge that I can take. And so this idea of not resenting, not being, being resentful towards that challenge, but accepting it, enjoying it, embodying it, can radically shift your perception of that specific experience about being blocked or excluded out of your ex's life. And in the process of doing that, you will notice also that one door shuts down, there are many other doors that open up. That woman might shut down to you and then you have five, ten other women who open themselves to connect to you. And so keep that in mind. It's like, one door, one door shuts down, what the spirit, what life is telling you through that is that that connection 
is, has that status right now. There is a wall. Don't go there. It's no longer constructive, no longer, no longer productive for you to be in interaction with that woman. So move on, move your energy in other directions, let it flow, and allow yourself to be guided into a different direction, into a different expansion.